So, uh, maybe she may have act but not today. Well, hello everybody. Thank you for coming to this reception. I'm very glad to see you here. Uh, you can just continue getting your food, no problem. Something to drink is over there. You know, don't let you disturb yourself. Um, welcome to the Anal. Actually, I should say welcome to the new Anal. Um, most of you will probably know Anan is a very traditional journal. Uh, it has been founded in 790, it's now uh, 222 years old. Um, and uh, seminal papers have been published in this journal by Einstein and by Planck. And many, many others like Schrödinger and well-known physicists. And therefore I think it's a, it's a well-known uh, journal. But that's, that's not the reason why, why we are here. Um, we are here uh, within this reception because we basically want to change the journal, or we have just changed the journal to something new, to something attractive, and what uh, makes it uh, even for you now uh, very attractive to publish your work in, in our journal. So I'm Guido Fuchs, the editor of the journal. I am in charge of this change. And uh, whenever you have questions, you can write me an email or phone me. Um, here you see what we have done now uh, yeah, in the last year. So we changed a lot of things, and the most obvious things, but what we changed is, is the look of the, of the journal. That's how it looked last year and the years before, and that's how it looks now. As you can see, by purely looking at it, it looks much more attractive. We have now cover pictures, and we also changed the article layouts. So there are a couple of copies lying around on the tables. You can just grab one and look through it. You will see it it's, uh, looks very modern now. Um, but just giving a journal a new color and making it shiny doesn't make it good. So you have to make other changes as well. And that's what we did. And I'm also very glad that one of our advisors is here among us. It's uh, Federico Capasso, who is over there, over there. Um, so um, here you see the editors working on this journal. And this is our new advisory board. Many, many new people in, on there. And people who are very active, uh, who are very encouraging to work on, on, on this journal. And they are here because I think they believe in this journal that a good journal that uh, it's worth to pursuing, and they bring in all of them bring in their specific uh, expertise to to the journal. And as you can see here, there there are a lot more um, topics which we cover now than we have previously done. And so I'm looking very much forward to the collaboration with them, which already started very well. Um, <coughs> The journal did not change the scope, so although a lot of things change, it's still a journal which publishes general physics in from fundamental aspects to applied physics, which covers really all all topics. And I've also listed some topics here so that you can see you know, that it covers condensed matter, optics, and quantum information, cosmology, um, everything what can imagine what belongs uh, to, to physics. Um, so how can you publish with us? You can submit original paper. That that's a classic. You know the the Anand has for a long time published original papers. Um, we have now introduced letters, letter article format, which we call rapid research letter, and we're really trying hard to to get your work published very very fast. And we do this by limiting the amount of pages that you're allowed to publish as a letter. It's four pages. And it enjoys priority handling. So we give also the reviewers a certain time to review your paper to speed up the process. And in the editorial office, these manuscripts will be really handled immediately. As they come in, they will immediately proceed. So the limiting factor is more how you how fast you revise your paper or how fast the reviewer is. Right. And then as soon as this happens, it goes straight online and is available for your colleagues as well. 
you are also invited to grab your article. So. What we also do is to show people that uh, new Anand that we covers really very interesting uh, topics of high importance for us nowadays. We have recently invited for three topical issues. So the first one which will come out in, uh, in the next issue, the double issues before, for March, April, is quantum dynamics of nanostructured systems. And uh, we have in December invited uh, also for dark matter. Uh, this is done by our guest editors, Volker Spengel and Matthias Bartelmann. We have recently invited four plasmonic samples by uh, Stefan Meyer and Michael Kell and Liberato Mano. And uh, in a couple of days, we'll also send out emails for other class phenomena at the nanoscale by uh, Peter Homerhoff, Matthias Spengel, and Mark Stockmann. So, should you work in those areas, it might be uh, uh, good if you consider to, to uh, send in your manuscript for those special issues. Besides the regular articles, original papers and, and, and letters, we have um, special reviews, we call them Einstein Lecture Series. And here, um, very distinguished people um, publish uh, um, their, their work. In this case, it's Dieter Vollert. He is also in this issue, which you see on, on the table. But also, Roy Klauber and Ted Hench and Peter Grunberg have published with us as Einstein Lecture. So, this is um, really fantastic work, which I can just uh, suggest you to have a look on at um, our issue. All you knew is if we, as editors, think that we have found a really very good article in our issue we ask experts to comment on that article. So in, we invite experts to write a small or a very brief comment on that article, to bring it in a, in a context, so that the general reader gets a better idea what the work is about, and, and so, that every, so that the general physicist can more in, enjoy this article and, and find out what's really so good about it. This year I've also started, you can also find it in, in these issues here, and we will continue to do this because the readers really like that form and me too. It's, it's really a lot of fun to read those comments. It's really very, very helpful. Um, Another physic does not publish historical articles. It's really purely physics research papers. But since Anand has a rich history in physics, we asked uh, people here like Christian Joas and Gerald Hoffmann to act as section editors here from the Max Planck Institute of the History of Science in Berlin. And they will contribute regularly uh, very brief historical essays to our journal uh, where they um, talk about um, phenomena or historic papers that are still of relevance for us today and make the connection between then and now. That's also tied up of the same. With that, I want to end uh, this little introduction. Um, in each of these copies here, you find this uh, page here, where if you grab that, that copy, you can find a sort of a summary of our new features. Um, just to please help yourself and, and grab a copy and, and have a look on that. I can also suggest you uh, to grab one of these copies here. That's actually not a copy that we publish uh, in a, as a regular uh, issue. That was a sample issue which we uh, published last year in uh, September. And uh, so it's, it's a very limited edition, so to say. And this one has the history of the Nahum in, in one of the first pages. So if you are interested in that, please grab one of those uh, copies. Um, I would thank you for coming here. Very, very glad that you came along. And I hope <coughs> that you submit your next paper, your high quality paper to us, to Anand, that was it. And yeah, enjoy, enjoy the beer and the food, and thank you very much. <laughs>